Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. The future of iOS gaming is looking up. Today I'll be presenting you guys with the best emulator for iOS devices. You can play this on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This emulator will allow you to play all of your favorite pastime games on your newest devices including you know the iPhone 7, the new iPads, and this is not restricted to Game Boy like GBA for iOS in the past. This will also support N64 and SNES games. This is Delta. And in this video, I'll be explaining how to install it on your device. But I do have to warn you, as of making this video, Delta is in a beta stage. It's not 100% stable, and it is not released to the public. So if you want to install this, do be aware that there might be some issues in playing the games. But regardless, this is an amazing emulator. It is the successor to GBA for iOS from a few years ago. So first things first, I want to talk about what Delta is. As you open it up, you can see that there's a new menu for your games. And it looks very familiar because it's from the same creator that made GBA for iOS. I did ask him about this new emulator on Twitter and he did say that he's been working on it for a very long time and I'm incredibly excited for people to finally use it soon. As you know, there is a small amount of people that have gained beta access to the Delta emulator. But now that it's been a couple of betas already, some people have extracted the file. That way you can get it on your device by using a computer. So for this process to install this emulator, you are going to need a Mac or a Windows PC. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete the emulator and I'll be showing you guys how to download this. So on your computer, you should install a very familiar app called Cydia Impactor. And once you have that installed, just go ahead and open it up. And by the way, if you already have Cydia Impactor, be sure you update it to the latest version. That way you won't have any issues. So once that is done, you want to go ahead and connect your device to your computer. And you should also make sure iTunes is not currently running in the background. So I'm just going to quit out of iTunes right here. My iPhone's being synced. Quit. There we go. So you want to download this file. I will have links for everything in the description. And once you've downloaded this file, put it on your desktop with the City Impactor app open and your device selected right here. My device is Phantom. And once it shows up in here, go ahead and drag this file to City Impactor. You're going to need to put in your Apple ID. Now, if you get an error while doing this, it's probably because you either put in a wrong password or you have two-factor authentication turned on on your account. So you might need to turn off two-factor authentication if you want to use this process. And I'll have an article down below explaining what that is. So anyways, let me go ahead and just put in my Apple ID and then my password and hit OK. And then it's going to start having some jibber-jabber information right there. And there we go. Delta is now on my device, except you can't open it yet. Remember, we have to go into settings, general, and profiles and device management, and then trust the profile. And once the profile is trusted, you can go ahead and exit out and enter into Delta. So this is a very beautiful emulator. As you guys can see, here's a dark mode theme. I wish Apple would bring this to iOS. I mean, it looks so good. And let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. We have player one. Hopefully we'll have different players. I believe he is going to make this iCloud supported. I'm not completely sure. Maybe it's Dropbox, but you can play on multiple devices and have your progress synced across all of them, which is super awesome. So we have Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. Soon enough, you'll be able to customize skins in here. And right now, this is the original skin for SNES and you can change this once this app gets updated and released to the public. Of course, I will make a video on how to do everything, a full guide, once this thing is released. So we have a Game Boy Advance in here as well. We only have one skin as of right now, but like I said, there will be more in the future. Controller opacity, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And now, how do I import games into this thing? Because if you try to hit the add button, it might crash like this or it just might be generally confusing to find games in the in-app browser. So what you want to do is go to Safari and I have a couple links for download sources in the description and you guys will have to go here. The one I use is EMU Paradise and once you're in here you can go ahead and search up games. For example, I'm going to search up Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like 
Pokemon Emerald GBA works, you might have to put in GBA for the search results to show up. And then be sure you get the U or E version and not the J version because J means Japan. So just click on the one that's, you know, in English and then come in here, click download links and hit direct download. And it should be in here. I do want to warn you guys, this website is a little bit hard to navigate around because it wants to make money off of advertisements, which is annoying, but eventually you'll be able to get your game file. So what you want to do once you're at this screen, you want to hit more and then scroll over till you find the Delta emulator. Just hit import with Delta and it will open like so. A couple things I did notice with this emulator is that the quality of the picture isn't very clear as of this moment. This will get better as the emulator is perfected. And another thing is that you won't be able to preserve your progress if the profile expires, which it will in a week, and you have to come back and do this whole thing with City Impactor again. You still can make save states inside the in-game menu right here, save state. I can add, and it will have a nice little image right here with the date and time which is super awesome and you can tap on it to go to the state but there's no way to save it to something like Dropbox to preserve it across devices anyways guys that is my quick look at Delta if you guys want to check this out play some games on it you can do so I'll have everything in the description don't forget to subscribe for a full guide when this thing is released and all the features are in it you know Dropbox device sync and a bunch of other stuff this is exciting, guys. This is very exciting for me to be able to play my childhood games on my iPhone, which is awesome. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. That'd be great. Hit the subscribe button to help me get to 10,000 subscribers. I know we can do it, guys. Let's go. Also, follow me on Twitter at iAppleGeek for more updates, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.